Okay, the following is a how to set the BV4218, uh, how to hook the keypad up. So if we look at this, you're going to see, we'll look at the back actually. What I don't like about this is that there's seven pads for what looks like seven pins. But if you look right here, okay, over, there's actually an eighth pin that you need to solder in. If you don't solder in that eighth pin, which is right here, we can get up really close to that. You don't solder in that eighth pin right where R0 is, uh, nothing's going to work. So, to start out, we just put uh, all the things on the keypad. So I'm just using standard jumper wires. Try and use different colored ones. Okay, and this farthest pin, so if you're looking at it like this, this one is R0, and we count R0, R1, R2, R3, C1, C2, C3. That's the only way I've been able to make it work. Um, and that's pretty similar to what he has in his wiring diagram. Although, his wiring diagram, I never was able to make it work correctly. So, we can hook all these up. And then we get our I2C module. Okay, and basically this one is R0. So if you're looking at it like this, the one furthest on the right is R0, and the one furthest on the right here is R0. So we just hook that guy up, and basically each wire beside it, so the wire that's beside that, which is the yellow one, gets hooked up right beside this one and then the one that's right beside it so we have this guy gets hooked up right beside it and then we've got that one Now, once you're finished wiring all of the pins on the keypad, you should have an extra pin left on the uh, I2C module. That's your int pin. If anything happens, um, you need to just take a wire and, uh, well, disconnect the power, take a wire and short it to ground and then power it back up again. And that will do a hardware, uh, sorry, uh, a hard reset on it. And then hooking it up to the Arduino is fairly easy. I'm not using any pull-up resistors, although you should. Um, so just go and ground. And. Uh, so basically, if you're looking at this and you want to do a hardware reset, you would just take the pin, okay, you'd unhook the uh, 5 volts from the Arduino, you'd unhook that, you'd short the int, which is the free pin, to the ground, plug the 5 volts, plug the 5 volts back in, and then just let it go and then you should be good to reprogram it. So I'm just going to try and get some good views of how everything looks. And uh, Remember when you're looking at it this one's R0, R1, R2, R3, C1, C2, C3 and that will let the program write the correct values. So I hope you enjoyed the video.